So now you got a hit record. So, I mean, did, did, did life change for you at that point? The domino comes out, you know, yes. more opportunities. I'm going to tell know, you, you arrived. Man. This opportunity I didn't even see coming. Mm-hmm. I'm mixing the last record of Sweet Potato Pie. Mm-hmm. Uh, another gentleman named uh, Andre Harris, rest in peace, who had uh, a, a relationship with Harry O mm-hmm. and Jay King from Club Nouveau. Mm-hmm. They're watching me mix this record. Mm-hmm. The Chronic, I'm, is, 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 I'm just, it's chronic. yeah, The Chronic is out. Mm-hmm. But they can't believe it's another producer in here that got the same intensity and creativity of Dr. Dre. Mm -hmm. The door's wide open. They're playing tennis. I mean, not tennis. They're playing ping pong at uh, this legendary studio called uh, Skip Sailor. That's where Quick did his first record. That's where I did my first record at. So they hand me mix this record. It's got all this funk and this melodic shit that's banging. You know, it's a remake of a uh, SOS band by mm-hmm. Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis and, and uh, you know, produced by them. I kill it. While I'm mixing this record, I get approached. They're like, man, I can't believe these records I'm hearing. So what are you doing? I said, yeah, I'm just going down the list. This is the last record. And they was they was bugging because they was hearing my, my technique. I had this white boy named uh, Sean Freehill. What we would actually do was go back and forth. We was listening to the chronic. So he had this little radio, so he patched uh, he patched the, the, the radio so we can hear it through the system. So we playing the cassette of the chronic. No, the CD of the chronic. And then we playing my record through the board. So we just kept going back and forth, matching the frequency and matching the intensity of my mixes with Dre's mixes. Mm-hmm. So, because we wanted to level up, he was heavy on bass and mm-hmm. quality, you mm-hmm. know, mixing, you know. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> we couldn't believe this edge and the sound on. And I wanted to make sure that I had the same impact coming out of Cali mm-hmm. because that was our Quincy Jones of rap on the West Coast and we 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 pioneered our shit behind greatness that was necessary that anything else coming out of Cali had to have that intense intensity and and, and quality of production as far as mixes, Mm -hmm. elements, everything in it. So we're going back and forth. We're playing every record and they hearing us do this. They already know who Dre is and the man who put the money up, which happened to be Harry O. Mm -hmm. Once they find out that I didn't have all the tools around me, meaning proper representation, as a manager or lawyer, they was like, man, you mean to tell me you're mixing this Domino album and you're not signed and you don't have, you know, uh, a manager or a lawyer in place? Ding, go mine. They like, oh, shit, this, we got another Dre. Mm-hmm. But he from South Central. Where you from? Out the 60s, you know? Like, what? Well, you need, you need some representation, bro. This is, this is an incredible record. They get on the phone. <laughs> Man, I don't know how that happened. Mm-hmm. Bro, we're talking about Harry O sitting down, but he got a phone where he is. Mm-hmm. So message get back for Harry O to call. Harry O calls. Uh, they tell him the scenario, and, and I get on the phone with him. I, I, I walk away from my mix, and uh, that brother uh, helped administrate my business and taught me the value of my production because I didn't even know what I was worth. Wow. You know, and Harry, did, Harry O yeah, did Harry that o, from, yeah, Michael Harris, from who's home. behind the wall. Big, yeah, shout brother, out to Harry O. He brother. did that from behind the wall for you. He did that you. from behind the wall wow. for me. So wow. he um, got in, in position and helped me with that, put some paperwork together so he could mm-hmm. I could be you know managed, be managed by him on his production. Mm-hmm. And uh, he still had you know a, a, a relationship with Suge and mm-hmm. David Kenner at the time. Mm-hmm. So, um, getting the representation and everything in place, you know, um, they put the record out without my permission or or without the proper documentation in place. Outburst did. Yeah, outburst did. But it was still necessary for them to do so Mm -hmm. because timing is of the essence. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So the record, is, the single is out. Mm-hmm. It's on the radio. It's making noise. Mm-hmm. I'm not knowing all the regions of where this record is is touching. I'm upset. I'm happy, but I'm confused because I know I ain't got my money yet, mm-hmm. and I know something is owed to me. Mm-hmm. Harry, you'll say, "Listen, we're gonna be smart about this. Don't sue because you you're coming new into the game. You don't want to blackball yourself. His reputation." It's way more stronger than yours. You don't have the money. Mm-hmm. I could get behind you, but let me show you your value. This mm-hmm. is Russell Simmons. I know about his get down, cat. Mm-hmm. I study everyone in the game, from movies, television, all over the execs. I, I I I know how this is going to go. Mm-hmm. We're gonna let the record do what it do. Mm-hmm. Let it sell. We're gonna do a cease and desist at the end. Mm-hmm. And then you're gonna know what your value is. And this is gonna be money you ain't never seen in your life. Mm-hmm. Come to find out the album was about 300, almost 400,000. I walked away with almost 200K mm-hmm. out of that 300 something thousand dollar, mm-hmm. 400 something thousand dollar, yeah. whatever uh, yeah. deal, which mm-hmm. was incredible. Mm-hmm. Then he said, this is what your value is. You're worth 20 to 25,000 a track. Mm-hmm. I would've did the whole album for Maybe a couple of dollars. Yeah. Because yeah. I didn't know my value. So Harry O gave you a whole valuation a behind, whole from behind the wall. Approach yeah, that's, and, that's and dope. comprehension of how this game yeah. can go. So you don't want to blackball yourself. Man. Yeah. They would have put that record on the shelf. Mm hmm. And it wouldn't have never performed. You wouldn't different, have found You would have yeah, struggled a little exactly. bit more to get yeah. talent and uh, your name mm-hmm. into this game. Mm hmm. And I'm glad it happened that way. Mm-hmm. So.